Gonna get into doing the brakes on the lightning here. Start on the back side. Uh, the two mounting bolts are 10 millimeter and the bleeder is also a 10 mil. Got started on this yesterday, so we already got the uh, emergency brake uh, shoes off of there. You gotta make sure that you lubricate the little bumps on each side. I'll show you when we do the other side. Didn't get that on film. But then, to get these spring clips on, just gonna, you know, you're gonna need two people. Uh, have some per have one person hold the shoe and the pin push the pin from the back side this locking pin and then just use uh you know needle nose pliers get the pin straight up and down line up this clip and then you can just spread the needle nose and push that clip in and turn it and it'll lock it in and do the same thing on the other side So when you go to put these shoes back on, you know, put your springs in first to hold the shoes on there. And the next step's gonna be to put the spring on the top. And then I ended up putting the bottom spring on and I had the, uh, the adjuster in two pieces. So I fed the left side of the adjuster in first. Then I came with the other piece and slid it in from this side and just hooked it in. So, got the hub all cleaned up, and you know, the instructions say to use a mild soap and water. So I've just got my uh, dishwashing soap and water mixture, let's clean it off with some towels. And then I'm going to apply some, uh, I've got some copper, so I'm just going to put a little bit around here, maybe a few dabs between the, uh, between the stud holes, and uh, that's ready to go back on there. But before I do that, I'm going to have to get this caliper going, get the pads out, and uh, push these sliders out and clean them up. We got new boots that came with the kit. New hardware. Okay. <laughs> so then the new ones that came from PowerStop, 
I just wiped them off with some silicone spray, kind of dressed them out, did the inside, sprayed the inside, and then wiped off the outside with the silicone spray. Grease up the pins, and put them in the sleeves, and run the sleeves back in there. Just, uh, you just push the old pins out and then uh, pull that rubber boot out with a pair of uh, needle nose pliers. So we'll have to swap this stuff out, get that greased up. Be ready to throw the road around there. All right, got those on there, greased up. You wanna put the boots into the caliper first and then put those slide pins in. Make sure they're seated right. They should be flat on the end of that uh, rubber boot. And I'll load the pads in there next. All right, put a little copper on the back of that rotor. Got the caliper on there. Those two 10 millimeter bolts. Looking pretty good. Got the uh, front brakes here on the Lightning. Actually got some new uh, gear wrench ratchets. Quarter inch and three eighths drive. They're 84 tooth, so bust those out today. The liquid wrench here, soaking down the bolts. Uh, the bolts that hold the caliper on are a Torx head and then uh, there's a couple of bracket bolts on the back too, so I'm just getting it uh, soaked down with some liquid wrench. And uh, got the bleeder soaked. Gonna take my hammer and just kind of tap on it, try to shock the threads. The other side loosened up pretty easy, so I'm not expecting that to be a problem. And then uh, just turning the wheel too, so you can get access to this stuff a little bit easier. Probably gonna be using the breaker bar and the pipe. So I've got the... Uh, the new rotor and the pads, new wheel bearings, all that junk. Got the uh, wax and grease remover, got some soapy water to clean that rotor off with, gloves and towels and all that madness. So uh, 
Yeah, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, start getting this caliper off. Well, on the passenger side, I'd use a T47. On this side, we're using the T40. You got one up top and one on the bottom. All right, so to get the caliper off, you gotta pry it off the top here. All right, so when you go to get this caliper off, Make sure you push the slide pins to the inside of the vehicle so you have clearance. The pads are gonna stay on there. The bottom is kinda clipped in down here. So you gotta pop that bottom out so you can slide the bottom down and take it off of there. So the next thing we gotta do is get the, we're gonna pull the pads off and then uh, get this bracket off. What size is that for the bracket? I think it's an 18 mil. Yeah, it's 18 millimeter for the, there's two bolts on the back for that bracket. So we're gonna slide those pads out and then get that bracket off. half inch breaker bar and cheater pipe. All right, so we just left the old pads on there. Took those two 18 millimeter bolts out of there. Took it off as one piece, probably easier. Socket over it. Yeah, let's pray it. It's got the uh, plastic race on it. The new bearings are metal. Guess what? Huh, the seal came off. Oh my god, look at all of this. Holy crap. Oh, good thing we're doing this. Yeah. All right, so I got that prep all wax and grease remover. It's got it in a spray bottle here. So let's kind of soak it down with that stuff, get this all cleaned off. And be ready to uh, 
We'll have to pull the boots out of the caliper, push the pistons back in. I've got a, it's like a baster. As you can see the brake fluid level is kind of high, so I'm gonna suck some of that fluid out. I wanna flush all this old fluid out anyway, so I'll be trying to get as much out of there as I can. So when we go to bleed them down, we'll just get all brand new fluid in the system. So do that. Pulling out the pins, getting the rubber boots off of there. So I've got the boots, got the slides kind of like half in there, got it lubed up with some uh, silicone. Apparently you're supposed to use silicone on anything with rubber, so got silicone on there. I'm just going to feed the boot in and then push the pin through the rest of the way. It's a little bit easier than just trying to put the boot in and then trying to feed the pin in with the boot in there. Just a really tight fit. All right, got the uh, slides in there, the boots. Gonna have to uh, push those pistons back in. I suck some more of the fluid out of there. Got the cap loose, so we're ready to get those pistons pushed back in. And got both the pistons pushed back in. Actually had to crack open that bleeder to uh, get them to push back in there. So spindle's cleaned up, I got grease on it. It's got wheel bearing grease. Doing the, uh, you know, got the rotor cleaned up. I got the, this was a mixture of soapy water for cleaning the face of the rotor. And then this, uh, this is that prep all solvent cleaner. You know, just, I mean, that's what was inside of there. That was wiping inside of this. So you gotta keep in mind there's, you know, there's gonna be bunch of metal shavings from this thing being machined so and according to the website they say to only clean the outside with soapy water so don't blast this thing with brake clean you know that's usually what you would do just clean the rotor off of brake clean but I think there's some kind of coating on here and I don't think it jives with you know any kind of solvent cleaner so just wipe that with soapy water did all the inner stuff with the solvent you know same thing with the spindle you know you saw that we got that cleaned up with the prep all as well the wax and grease remover so we gotta load the uh, inner bearing in here and get the seal seated. And then we're ready to uh, mount this thing up there. You know, we got the bracket cleaned up, got the new, uh, you know, little hardware pieces, slides or whatever you want to call those on there. And uh, be ready to start getting the pads on there and all that. All right, so when I did the other side, you know, I already did the passenger front. You, know, you got to pack these bearings with wheel grease. So I just put a glob of grease on my hand and you just keep working the grease into the bearing. So got the bearing in there, you know, and just tap the seal down. And now uh, when we slide that rotor onto the spindle, we'll get that outer bearing on there. You know all this hoo-ha that goes with that too. Got the rotor up there. Fed that outer bearing in. You know, put the washer over there, put that nut on, and then uh, you know, just use this ratchet. This is a uh, see 27 mil. I don't think this fits perfectly, but it's enough to. What I like to do is just kind of snug it up, spin the rotor, back it off a little bit, spin the rotor, snug it up, spin the rotor. And you just want to kind of keep working it back and forth. You know, you you don't want to super tighten this thing but you just want to snug it up to get that bearing pushed up. So I'll do that maybe three or four times. And then the fourth time, I just kind of do it by feel, you know, you want it snugged up. Like you don't want a lot of pressure on it. You just don't want any end play. So when you get done, you can even just try to rock it back and forth and see if there's any end play. It might need to be snugged up. So when you're happy with a zero end play, let's get the new cotter pin on there. And then you're ready to put the, the boot back on or this, uh, 
Aaron, we need this. The uh, shield, the shield. Is this the same size you as when I enter? Yeah. Got the cotter pin folded and that dust shield back on there. Just tap it on with a hammer. Alright, just took an ear swab. The copper anti seize. Tried to get in all those nooks and crannies where the pads are going to slide on there. Just got a light coating on it. So, I'm going to load the pads on here and then uh, attach this to the, to the spindle. Okay, so with the bracket off, I fed the outer pad in from the inside because it's kind of hard sneaking it in past this. is kind of a tight fit. So, I got that pad in, you know, from the right side, fed it over, got the inner pad on, and then we put the whole bracket on as an assembly onto the spindle. So now putting the caliper back on, gonna make sure both these pins are pushed all the way in towards the inside of the vehicle. It's gonna sit in this channel, and then it's gonna snap into this top here where there's this little, uh, you know, it's almost like a little uh, notch for it to pop out. It's got to be snapped into that. Here, let me, uh, probably not to pry it with a screwdriver. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now all we have to do is clean up the mounting pins. We'll get these cleaned off and I'll probably put some silicone on them. Actually, uh, you know what, probably just put uh, caliper grease on there because it doesn't really touch rubber. These slide inside of those uh, metal pins. All right, got her up on all fours. I was totally wrong about all the bleeders are three eighths. I thought the backs were 10 mil. Guess I got lucky on that one. Got them loose and didn't destroy them. So they are all three eighths. So I'm gonna try to get as much out of this master cylinder as I can. And uh, I don't think I can suck any more out with that baster. So I'm just gonna bleed the driver's side front caliper to get this level down as far as I can without completely emptying this. Which is kind of neither here nor there because we're bleeding everything but probably make it a little bit easier to not completely suck it dry. So first thing I'll do is bleed this front down. Try to get more fluid out of here. I'm gonna put fresh fluid in and then I'll uh, start bleeding the other ones. You know go to the right rear and then the left rear, right front and then finish with the left front. All right, I'm on the driver's front, got my bleeder hose, the cup. This is kind of irrelevant at this point because just trying to get fluid out, so don't have to get crazy here. All the bleeders have been broke loose, so it's not a big deal. Should be able to 
crack them loose and tighten them up, no problem. So I'll put the box end on the bleeder. And then uh, what I like to do, you know, put both the windows down so your assistant can hear you, whether you're in the front or the back or whatever. So then I'll say pump. Uh, you know, my dad's going to pump the brakes three times and he's going to hold them. And when, on the third pump, when he's holding it, he's going to say holding. I'm going to crack this open. The fluid's going to come out. The pedal's going to go to the floor. And he's going to say down. Now, at no time is he going to release that pedal without me telling him to. So when he says down, I'm going to shut the bleeder and then I'll just say pump again. So that's kind of the rule of thumb with bleeding. Like if you're the guy pushing the pedal and you've got the pedal depressed, don't release it. Like always keep that pedal down unless you're told to. And then if you're in doubt, ask who's bleeding. Like, can I let off the pedal? All right, pump. Holding. All right, pump. Holding. Pump. Holding. So I have to fill the master cylinder. So I'm gonna let my dad know to just keep his foot away from the brake pedal so he doesn't accidentally depress it while I'm trying to fill it. Whenever you're doing a complete bleed like this, you know, let's get yourself the big container and then, uh, you know, get a smaller one just as backup. You know, brake fluid is hydroscopic, which means it's going to absorb moisture. And the moisture it absorbs reduces its boiling point. So it's probably not a big deal on a street vehicle, but, you know, once you open it, use it, cap it up. You know, once you fill this, get it capped up. Try to limit how much exposure it has to the moisture in the air. So I got that filled up a little more. I'm gonna try bleeding a little more down here. Fluid's actually not looking too bad. It's kind of dark, so we'll see. Dump this out. Do a little more bleed on this. Try to get a little more of that old stuff out. <clears throat> A lot of times these hoses have two different sizes to them, so use the side that fits the tightest. All right, pump. Holding. All right, release it. Pump. Holding.
Okay, pump. Holding. Pump. Holding. Down. Pump. Holding. Down. Pump. Holding. Down. Pump. Holding. Down. Yeah, I don't know if it's the ABS, but you can go ahead and release it. <coughs> the what now? I said I don't know if it's the ABS on this truck, but it's not. Ooh, it's not moving very quickly. It could be. What? Oh. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Supposed to disconnect something on the heat between this. Alright, we got it all bled down. Had some issues bleeding it, so I didn't get that on tape. Take it for a little test drive.